Thanks, Mark. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. You know, as we talk about these militia groups, the proxies, there are a number of notable ones, and you'll see them on your screen if you're at home watching in just a second here. But, you know, a lot of people say, look, peace is not expected to happen overnight with anyone like Iran. But these are the groups that we really need to keep an eye on right now. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. I mean, the, the regime in Iran is not standing down. It's got a 40-year playbook that'll dust off of war in the shadows, of assassinations, of terrorist attacks, and of using proxies like these to attack the, the United States, U.S. interests, and U.S. allies. If there's no, if, if they don't recognize that they do this, they deny their involvement in this type of behavior. I mean, according to Iran, the first thing they've done was this, uh, these shots at the, at the bases in Iraq just a couple of days ago. If, if they don't acknowledge it, how do you fight against it? Well, because I think what you do is for the first time in four decades and the president's doing this is you hold them accountable. They, they use sort of this campaign of plausible liability where they use these militias, they strike our interests, they kill Americans, they kill others. Uh, and then there's denial. And then for four decades, we've actually bought into that denial strategy. I think the president for the first time is ripping off the cloak of deniability and saying that Iran will be held accountable for any of the actions of its proxies and its surrogates. Mark, what did you make of the, um, what the president had to say yesterday in calling on other world powers and calling on NATO to step up to the plate while saying, though, that we are independent? Look, I think it's always important that we can work closely with our allies in the Middle East and in Europe and abroad. And I think the United States has done a remarkable job over the years of, of leveraging the capabilities of our allies, like Israel, for example, in the Middle East, that's been fighting Iran on its own. Um, it's been fighting and dying in that struggle alone. But also, the United States is going to take unilateral action when we need to protect the interests and security of Americans. And I think the president is looking for that balance. What does Iran get from, from funding these proxy militias? I mean, they neglect their own people to fund these little skirmishes in other parts of the world. What do they get out of that? Well, the regime in Iran is a revolutionary regime, and it has been for 40 years, and it's expansionist. So that this is very much part of their of the regime's DNA, that they yeah. are expansionist, they're violent, they're destructive, and they're using these surrogates as a exercise, really, in, in Middle Eastern imperialism. They want to dominate these countries, mm -hmm. and ultimately they want to have a land bridge between downtown Tehran and downtown uh, Beirut that they can use then to threaten Israel, build missiles, use Hezbollah, which is another very dangerous proxy, and ultimately squeeze the Jewish state and exterminate it. Mm -hmm. Mark, do you think the relationship with Iran, specifically the events that have happened in the last week, there have been a number of them leading up to this missile attack, and the attack itself and the president's response, has all of that been his biggest test yet, do you think? I think so. I mean, certainly his biggest foreign policy test. The, the regime is uh, a strategic threat to the United States. If it builds nuclear weapons and gets ICBMs, which it certainly was on the pathway to do so under the Obama JCPOA or nuclear deal. Uh, that could threaten the homeland. And so the president understands this. He doesn't want a North, another North Korea on our hands, and he, yeah. he's trying to prevent Iran from becoming that uh, under the nuclear deal that gave it these patient pathways to nuclear weapons and ICBMs. Yeah. He wants to make a new deal now with Iran. I suspect they're not going to like his plans, but we'll see. Thank you so much, sir, for coming on. We do appreciate it. Great. Thanks for having me.